Traffic calming, traffic calming. I hate traffic calming. It's the worst thing ever. Okay, not really. You should absolutely be a fan and an advocate of traffic calming. The idea of traffic calming is to calm traffic. It's to get cars and trucks to slow down so that it's safe to be able to walk across the street. Here's a traffic circle that's part of a traffic calming project. Notice the arrow on the right hand side of the screen. That's where the crosswalk is. There used to be a sign that said yield to pedestrians. That sign's gone. Here's the secret to know if traffic calming is working or not. Traffic calming should calm traffic. And guess what? Traffic calming can calm traffic. Take a look at this view from the crosswalk. Cars never slow down in this direction. It doesn't feel great to be passed by a bus either. Ironically, people were really concerned that buses would not be able to get through these circles. So is traffic calming bad? Is it the enemy? No, absolutely not. Don't ever think that I said that. But if you're in the outdoor seating at a corner restaurant and cars are continually whizzing by like this, something else needs to be done. Now take a look at this. Drivers are trained that they can drive much faster than the posted 25 mile an hour speed. This street is just one car lane in each direction, and yet nobody wants to wait. Anybody gonna yield to the pedestrian? Anybody? I'm standing right here. Anyone gonna yield? Anyone? So remember, traffic calming, good. Pretend traffic calming, bad. It's quite possible that your local government can't afford to do the whole thing all at once. But if that same local government is spending money on widening projects or other things that make it terrible to walk, then you need to start asking some hard questions. Actually, they're pretty easy questions. Ask them, are you gonna make streets safe for people to walk or not? 